daytime baseball. Into the box now, number three. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon for Baltimore. Here comes the first number pitch. Three. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Judges under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Not exactly. Second base. Stepping into the box, Jonathan, Jonathan Villar. Here's the first pitch to him. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Throw, got him, and that's a gorgeous play. Got him third. Left fielder. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Takes a look down at the knees for his. Strike. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Bases are empty here with two men out. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Here comes Brett Gardner now as he'll lead things off in the home first. Leading off for the Yankees, number 11. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Gardner. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. And he got him. Here's big Aaron Judd. His past history with Dylan Bundy not great. He's one for eight. Down and in here one ball no strikes. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss for strike one. Hey, I get it. You're all in fastball. You're pulling the trigger at almost anything. But that is way too high. He's going to have to lower his sights. And that one just missed outside. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Looking for back-to-back -back K's to start the game. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Lined is short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. Batting third, designated hitter. Standing John in, Carlo Giancarlo Stanton. Stanton. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. VR moving to his left. And that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We are still scoreless. At the plate, Mark Trumbo. He'll start things out in the top half of the second. Designated hitter, Mark Trumbo. First offering on its way. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Nope. And a fastball just a bit up. I got a ball, one strike. Right. 
Line shot to first, and there's one away. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that'll bring in the right fielder, Adam Jones. First pitch coming, here it is. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1-0. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Lynn, 30 years of age, he was a first round pick during the 2008 draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Count still at one and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. Striding in, Chris Davis. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Ball one. Hey, two outs, nobody on, and a power hitter up. This is where, as a pitcher, you got to use the hitter's aggression against him. Get him to fish a little bit. Something a little more out of the zone than normal. And that finds its way through for a base hit. You know, Dero, it's not always easy to hit in the day games. First five hitters, five up, five down. Six hole hitter, though. He must have gotten a good night's sleep last That's night. That's exactly where I was going, Dan. First five guys in the order looked like they were still asleep rolling out of bed. Those day games will creep up on you. Six hole guy was locked and loaded. The 0 1 pitch fouled off. Sanchez might try to make a play on it, and no one can get there. It's a foul ball. And this one's in the dirt. And a good idea to hang close at first as he'll make it back easily. Nope. To two balls and two strikes now. Hey, I don't mind those pitches down below the zone trying to go for the strikeout right there. But you find yourself in a 2-2 count right here. Interested. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And trouble it is. It's down for extra bases. And he's in safely to third as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Man, the pitcher was this close to getting out of the inning and leaving that runner stranded. But the guy standing on third had other ideas, driving in the first run of the game. Swung on and missed for the first strike. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. Hey, make a pitch right here and get out of this. Get the boys in the dugout and regroup a little bit. One run is not going to kill you. Swing a soft liner, and that is into right field. The base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Boy, d -Row, that's a case right there. He hit it just like he thought it. Soft. Not hit all that hard, but it gets the runner in from third. Yeah, but you know what? Tomorrow's newspapers are going to be wrapping fish, so who cares? About? I don't care if it's a bullet or off the fists. A knock's a knock, especially when it's got an RBI attached to it. Beckham is off the first with two away. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Throw over to the bag. Runner back safely. The 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. All right, 3-2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Didi Gregorius. He'll get us going here in the bottom half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. He pulls this one into right. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And he's going to get the second now with nobody out. This is exactly what you want to do when you've gone down by two runs. Answer the bell. So he leads off the next inning and gets them going with a double. 
Now if they can scratch a run or two across this inning, they'll be right back in this one. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. His past history with Dylan Bundy, two hits in seven tries. He also has one home run. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. One and two. I'm no hitting expert, but you can't take a swing that's a whole lot more uglier than that one. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Next for New York, Miguel Andujar. First pitch on its way. Heading out towards shallow right. Jones is under it. He's got it and there are two down now. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Digging in now for the Yankees. Gary Sanchez. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. A one pitch on its way. Hit hard to third. Nunez ranges to his right. Throw on to Davis takes care of him and that'll end the inning. A nice aerial shot there. The inner harbor in downtown Baltimore as we welcome you back to the Charm City. Center fielder, number three. The wind up and the 0 1. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. 0 oh, 2 pitch in the dirt. I think that was a purpose pitch. These guys are swinging at just about everything, so he's going to take a chance to see if they'll chase one even further out of the zone. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Number three is retired to kick off the inning. Jonathan Riding in once again, Jonathan Villar. And he lays off there, 1-0. and oh. Bases are empty, one man out. The ball and a strike. One and one. Swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. First delivery to him on the way. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Two out, nobody on. Ball one. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. Two balls and two strikes to Mancini now. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight Stepping up to the plate, Luke Boyd, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. And he fouls this one off. Boyd, originally from the state of Missouri, he was taken in the 22nd round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. There to take it is VR, and that's the first down. 
Settling in now, Liber Torres, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Line towards center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Here's Brett Gardner now. Here comes the first pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east. -west. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. They trail it here 2 to nothing. Here's Mark Trumbo now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Throw into second. But it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. Wow, this is a perfect example of a Wiley veteran doing what needs to be done to deliver for his team. Yeah, and just watch this swing. Instead of trying to do too much with it and pull it, he stays inside the ball and is able to smack it to the opposite field for a double. And Jones takes this one for a ball, one and one. Trumbo leads off second with nobody out. Two balls and a strike. Called strike two as he locks him up there. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Gardner is there. One away. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Ready now for Baltimore. Chris Davis. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a fastball that just misses. Ball one. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Two runs, four hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. He's set, and the one-two pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. And here's Renato Nunez. It was an RBI triple for him in his first at bat. From the belt the pitch. Owen won the count. Line drive to center field. Hicks will get there and he puts it away to retire. Here's big Aaron Judd. He sets a lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. First pitch of the at bat. Hit sharply on the ground. Beckham moving to his right and Beckham's throw is in time at first one away. How about Digging in to try it again. Giancarlo Stanton comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And it's fouled away. Now the pitch. High and deep to center field. Going back is the center fielder. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Didi Gregorius. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Gregorius is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate. More often than not, he gets contact, and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher's standpoint.
you know, he takes his chances when he has count leverage. Without question, 1-0, 2-0. You'll see this guy try and get nasty a little bit, but he stays within himself. He knows what his strengths are, and he tries to drive the ball right back where it came from. He looked a little bit out in front right there, but he's able to pull that ground ball through the hole for a single. Aaron. Standing in now, Aaron Hicks. High and deep to straightaway right. Jones ranging back. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Striding into the box, Tim Beckham. He singled his last time up. Tim Beckham. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Now the 1-0. -oh. He's taken strike one. One ball, one strike. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. So striding forward now, Caleb Joseph. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Ready for another shot now. Number three, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here's a strike. Takes a good curveball at the knees. The pitch. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And a good throw gets him one gun. The batter, Patrick Gary Sanchez. Digging in now, Gary Sanchez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Strike one to start the at bat. Sanchez stands 6 2 as you see him in the right handed box. He's in his third season as a major league player. Fastball down near the shoe tops. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Stepping up now, Luke Boyd. Here comes the first pitch. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. Two quick outs in this inning so far. His pitch count is really down. I think one of the keys is he's been attacking the strike zone early on, making these guys swing the bat so far in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0-2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. Beckham is up with it. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go. The Digging in once again, Jonathan Villar. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Jonathan
Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound. And he'll motion for the bullpen. That's going to be all for Lance Lynn. And he powers to cut fastball by him that time. And he's in charge now. Nothing in two. Struck him out. So he's set down on strikes for the second time today. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. Lifetime numbers versus David Robertson. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at-bats. Cut fastball taken for strike one. Well, that's a tough pitch to take right there, right down the middle. But I think that happens when you're facing a good pitcher like this guy. The last thing you're expecting is one right down the pipe. And unfortunately, he let that one go. And he'd like to have that pitch back to take a good swing at that one. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Robertson is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty V, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you, or sometimes you even have some mess that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a mess that he's inherited or one that he's created for himself, this guy makes good pitches when the game's on the line. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Sliders in for a strike. Hey, he's looking to punch out the side right here. And if this guy's going to do him favors and swing outside the zone, that's exactly what's going to happen. Two runs, four hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. The ball in two strikes. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out this side. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. We'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Here's Brett Gardner now. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And you wonder about the control now as he misses high with the slider. Popped him up. Beckham shading to his right. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Digging in, Aaron Judge, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. All right, that's when you got to tell yourself to slow down a little bit right there. Out in front on a fastball, hit it hard, but pulled it foul. Popped up, Nunez is under it, two gone. Giancarlo Stanton now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. Now there's a changeup to start him out, but it drops low and away for ball one. Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. But that'll be off the right field wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Some guys have full power and that's it. But then there are guys like this who have power to all fields. What a threat. Take a look here. He generates so much back speed with his lower half through his arms. It looks like he just flicks the bat at this thing and he darn near hits it out of the park. Here's Didi Gregorius. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Jones is under it. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. Yanks strand a pair. They're still down. It's 2-0. Now at the plate, Adam Jones will start it off for the Orioles with the ever-dangerous Chris Davis looming in the on-deck circle. No balls and a strike to count. And Jones fails to come up with that one as he falls behind here. 0-2 now. 
And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Stepping in, Chris Davis. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Missed low and inside with it, 1 and 1. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. The one two. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. When you have two strikes on you as a hitter if you get something that you can handle you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity and he'll squeeze this one for the second up. Now batting. Stepping into the box Renato Nunez a hit in two tries for him so far. It's a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Way dead and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one. Into the box, Aaron Hicks. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Under it now is Davis to put it away for the first down. Here comes the first pitch. Hit out towards second. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Now batting, catcher, Harry Sanchez. Stepping in, Gary Sanchez. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First delivery to him on the way. High in the air. Nunez just to the left of the mound. And that retires the side. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They're down two to nothing. Now at the plate, Tim Beckham. And to start out the inning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Dan. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. Owen oh, won the count. Now here's the pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And he looks at one in there, one and two. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. The catcher number 32. Ready once again, Caleb Joseph. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The cutter runs outside. Ball one. One out. Nobody on. He's set. Here comes the one one. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Lifted down the line and left. Here comes Gardner. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now Digging in three. the switch hitter, number three. 0 for three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Throw in time and the side is retired. Now with the plate, Luke Boyd. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit hard on the ground to third. And 
quickly. There's one down to lead off the frame. The batter. Standing in, Gleiber Torres. He's got to be looking for vengeance after getting plunked in his last at bat. High in the air out to center field. Number three is there, and he'll bring this one in. Here's Brett Gardner now. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Pulled toward right center field. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. Gardner not stopping. He's headed for third. And he is in to third with a two-out triple. Every coach will tell you when you're down by two, you don't want to take too many chances on the base pass. Regardless, he hustles into third for the triple, and the tying run is coming to the plate. Here's big Aaron Judd. Runner in scoring position with Sujan. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Watch your lips in the first couple rows there. He got the head out on that changeup. Good thing they enforced the new netting rules this year. A swinging bunt up the third baseline. And they'll escape danger here after the two-out trip. Ready for another chance. Jonathan Villar. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. A ball and a strike. Zach Britton, a southpaw standing six foot three, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. 1 1. He swung on and missed for strike number two. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. It's the depth of a sinker. Sometimes it's a matter of whether or not it's moving east-west, but that one right there had such good downward action. Great pitch. Now the pitch. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. So it was a swinging strike three. Jonathan Villar becomes the first out in the ninth inning. Here comes the first pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Hey, you find yourself down 0-2. You've got to grind a little bit right here. I don't understand the game plan. Let's see if we can get this one back. And he'll strike out here yet again. As it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. How about it? Next will be the designated hitter, Mark Trumbo. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Here it comes, 1-0 to Trumbo. And that one just missed outside. That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count. Two and one now. The two one home. It was on a line to left center and it's going to fall. A base hit. And Trumbull will reach. He's got a base hit. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. As a hitter, the only feeling better than hitting a bomb is driving one into the gap like that. He hustled out of the box knowing he was guaranteed a double, but I think he had thoughts of maybe a triple if the outfielder hadn't gotten it back in right away. Yeah, there really wasn't any question about that one going for extra bases off the bat. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Ball and two strikes to Adam Jones. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together. Giancarlo Stanton now. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. And the recovery's a quick one as he gets his man at first. Good composure that time to record the first out of the inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. Pulled toward right center field. 
Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Coming to the plate now, Aaron Hicks. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. He makes the catch, and the Orioles get a complete game shutout from their starter as this ball game is over. A 2-0 finish today. The Baltimore Orioles took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Dylan Bundy pitches well enough to get the W, so that'll just about do it for us this afternoon.